hello friends now we are going to discuss about the inhibins we will first discuss about the discovery of inhibins okay as we all know that uh, testosterone reduces plasma LH when testosterone amount will increase it will reduce the LH level okay LH secretion from the pituitary gland but uh, in patient which have atrophy of the seminiferous tubule it was observed that uh, testosterone and LH was normal but FSH level was elevated okay and these observations these observations led to the search for inhibin okay a factor of testicular origin that inhibits FSH because there was atrophy of seminiferous tubule so the there must be a something which is releasing from the seminiferous tubule which was inhibiting FSH and because of the atrophy there was no release of that substance so there was no inhibition of FSH and that because of that reason FSH was elevated okay so this was the basic idea behind the discovery of inhibin now coming to the inhibin general introduction inhibin is formed from three polypeptides that is alpha subunit beta 1 and beta b and this alpha subunit is usually glycosylated and beta a and beta b is non glycosylated now inhibin is basically of two types a and inhibin b inhibin a is formed by alpha combining with beta 1 beta a and b inhibin b is formed by alpha combining with beta b and the uh, alpha and beta are linked by disulfide bonds okay alpha and beta are linked by disulfide bonds now moving so inhibins in main is secreted from sertoli cell okay as we have discussed in our previous videos and in oven it is coming from granulosa cells now as we have discussed that alpha combines with beta a alpha combined with beta b but there are also chances that beta combines beta a combined with beta b or beta a beta a or beta b beta b so there are three possibilities more beta a beta b beta a beta a beta b beta b these are also formed okay and these three will not inhibit fsa secretion these three always stimulate fsa secretion and so they are known as activin activins because it is promoting the fsa secretion and inhibins a and b both we are inhibiting the fsa secretion so they were known as inhibins inhibitory effects now coming to the functions of activins what uh, functions activins can play so basically there are two functions uh, till date discovered of activins the first one is that in bone marrow it uh, involves in blood cell white blood cell development okay wbc formation and development activins is involved in the white cell white blood cells development and formation and in embryonic life it is activins are seem to be involved in the formation of mesoderm so these are the two basic functions in which activins